Hey guys and welcome back. Well, in today's video we're going to look at Arnold and how to create glass using Arnold 5.0 in Maya 2018. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, jump in and check it out. Here we go. Okay guys, well we're in Maya 2018 and let's have a look at Arnold 5.0 and how that will help us to create glass in Arnold, right? Well, first of all, we need to make sure that Arnold is loaded, right? So we're going to go to our rendering settings and we're going to check out whether we have Arnold Render in this list or not. I do. If you do not, you need to go to uh, Windows, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager, and you need to look for, uh, let's see, where do you go, where do you go? There's an Maya to Arnold.mll, this guy right here. Make sure it's loaded, okay? Right, so now that we have that, it's uh, time to set up a scene. Now, I specifically want to do this together with you guys because you can backtrace everything just in case something is not working out. You will know every element of the scene, okay? But I'll do it quickly. All right, so we're going to take a polygon plane for our floor. We're going to hit R to scale that out. We're going to apply a material. So right click, assign new material. We'll choose an Arnold material, obviously. And we're going to use the new standard material in Arnold 5.0, which is the standard surface material. In 4.0, it was called standard. In 5.0, it's standard surface. Now we have that. It uh, puts the default white on it. We're going to hit that check it box and we're going to go to file, folder, and we're going to put an HDRI image in there. Uh, actually, not in here, sorry. We're going to put a texture in there. There we go. So we're going to go to texture. We're going to go to wooden floor and put that in. When I hit this uh, little ball right here, you see that the texture will show up. And then what I can do is select that material once again and uh, go in and plug in my normal map. I can do that in the roughness right here. I'll get a file, folder, and there is my normal map. Okay, so that's our floor. Now for lighting, uh, let's see, we're going to go to Arnold, we're going to go to lights. Let's put in a sky dome light. As you can see that sphere is showing up here. And just to prove that we now have light in our scene, I can do an IPR render here, or I can go to Arnold and Arnold render view because Arnold has its own render window and hit that play button. As we do that, you can see default lighting is on and our floor is visible but I want to put an HDRI image in there, okay? So I'm gonna hit this uh, check it box, go to file and folder and look for an HDRI image. Let's see, not gonna do anything crazy here. Uh, let's see, 2K map sounds fine to me. We'll give that a sec as that loads in. There you go. And has it? It has, okay. It's kind of a night scene. Maybe we'll take one that's a bit brighter, okay? So uh, let's see, I got one here, suburbs. That's, uh, yeah, there you go. That's a uh, daylight, okay? We'll give that a sec to load up. There you go, much better. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, we need um, some additional light, but we'll do that once we have our objects in. So what I'm gonna do next is create a little sphere that we can use as an object behind our glass. Hit R, scale that up a little bit. Go in, hit W to move that up onto our grid line right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna apply some material to our sphere. So right click, assign new material. Once again, Arnold. And once again, standard. Now, I kind of want to see what happens when I apply the material. So what I'm going to do is go to Arnold Render View, and I'm going to put this to the side here, and we'll just uh, hit play on this guy so you can see what's going on. Okay, so let's go in and change the color. Check it box, not there, right here. And let's do red. You see that we got an automatic update. And if we move in here, I'll get in a bit closer. You can see that that auto updates, okay? So if I want to have, let's say, less specularity, I can bring that all the way down and you will have no specularity whatsoever. You can bring that all the way up, but you can also uh, bring that in roughness if you like, which will make it even more 
metallic-like, and you can also tweak the index of refraction, okay? So if I were to put in one, for example, you would see that it would look completely different. If I put in 1.8, it's really reflective. So let's do 1.5, which is uh, basically the index of refraction for a glass, okay? Now you have these settings you can play with, but we'll leave that alone for now. And um, that said, I'm happy with this material. Now, I want to have a little bit more light in the scene. So I'll just move this out of the way for a sec. And we're gonna go in, create lights. And let's do a directional light. And I'm gonna hit E to rotate a little bit. I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard so I can aim towards my sphere. Okay. Hit 4 for wireframe mode so we can see it better. All right, and I'm gonna do that in an angle like this. And then we'll look at the height. All good, all right. So let's see what's going on. We're gonna bring in our render again. And what I'm gonna do here is go to view. Actually, let's get a nice view first. That's probably gonna be okay, all right? We're gonna go to view, bookmark, edit bookmark, and let's call this new, and apply and close. So you can see how that updates right there, right? Which is cool. Uh, let's see if we want to tweak anything on this guy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think it looks good, all right? Okay, so now for our glass, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a polygon cube. Let's hit R, stretch that out. Pull that up like so. And then let's just get this out of the way for a sec here. I'm just gonna go in and Hit W, we're gonna put it on top of our grid line here, like so. And then we're gonna go into our perspective view. And I'm gonna hit R and bring that in and make it nice and thin, okay? So let's say that that is our glass. Now, if we go to view and bookmark and new, and I'll just move back a little bit, there is no sphere to be seen, right? Let's just uh, change our bookmark here. We'll call it one, okay, it's fine. Try that again. Yeah, we're good, okay. So before you do anything else, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in to our object, right? And under our object, there's an Arnold tab right here. So if we go in, you see that there's opaque and that is uh, checked and we're gonna uncheck that. If that is checked, you cannot create anything that is transparent and looks like glass and so forth, all right? So now that we have that done, we're gonna right click and go to assign new material. We're gonna choose a new Arnold material and I'm gonna use my standard once again, right there. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna bring in my IPR render again so you can see what's going on. Okay, so that is now uh, set, okay? Now we're gonna go into our attribute editor and we're gonna set the color all the way to black because we don't need color because it's glass, okay? We're gonna set the weight to zero as well. Uh, all right, now specularity, we want that because it's glass. I don't want it to be uh, rough, but it's 0 0.1, that's fine. And the index of refraction is basically pretty spot on for glass, right? However, if you go to the transmission value, here you see that um, the weight is zero. Let's start to bump that up and let's look what happens to our glass. And we're gonna throw that way, way up to the top there, okay? Now, there are a bunch of things you can tweak here as far as uh, settings, scatter settings and so forth. If I bring this down, for example, right? Or move that way up. But more importantly, what we need to look at is the render settings, okay? so. We'll open that up and we'll go into the render settings for Arnold. And first we're gonna look at common. Now, I'm just gonna set this to HD 540 
because this is not our final render yet. It's okay, leave that alone. I am gonna go to my system though, and I'm gonna make sure that this sampling level is at minus three, okay? Just leave that. Now, here are the important settings. Uh, the way this works is this is based on samples. Now, what you deal with when rendering is uh, reflection, refraction, uh, subsurface scattering, that kind of stuff, right? Basically how light responds to textures, to surfaces, and so forth. Reflection, uh, bouncing off of an object, refraction, light breaking through an object, and so forth, okay? So if you look at these values right here, you see that the top one, this one is basically a multiplier. And this is a multiplier on, for example, the diffuse, the specular, and so forth. So if I change the diffuse value, that is to reduce noise in the diffuse or the color uh, segment here, okay? So let's set that to four. And you see the uh, live render responding, okay? Now I want the overall uh, multiplier to be four as well. Now, these are not the biggest issues just yet, okay? Let's look at uh, specularity. We'll set that to four. I'm gonna set my transmission to four and my subsurface scattering as well. And I'm gonna leave uh, the volume indirect alone, okay? Now, what's interesting to know here is that if I go in and uh, multiply these glass plates, and I'll do that, let me just uh, take that, hit Control D to duplicate, hit W, come on, W, move a little bit forward, and I'm going to hit 4 for wireframe mode so you can see what's going on. I got one plate and two plates, okay? Move this over and then hit Shift D and Shift D and Shift D. So I now have a number of glass plates in front of each other, okay? I'm gonna hit five to go back. So this is the situation that we got right now, right? Now, if we go back into our render settings and we look at Arnold, especially this transmission value, look what happens. When that transmission value is bumped up, you see that it takes out a lot of noise in our glass. It also increases our render time a lot, right? So let's bring this back to zero. Everything's black, okay? And this is a good way to show you what I mean, okay? So one starts getting better, two, three, four, and so forth, okay? Now, uh, let's say you want to create colored glass, okay? How would you do that? Well, we'll go in and we'll just uh, take one of these. We'll go into our material and let's go into the transmission color. Uh, let's turn that to red. Okay, now because we have the same material applied to all of our plates, you see that it has the effect on everything, but you can change that color easily just by clicking on that, right? So you can create green glass, yellow glass, red glass, and so forth. Okay, let's set that back to white. So this is a very, very quick uh, introduction to Arnold 5.0 and how to create glass. Uh, I will be doing more Arnold videos in the near future. If you have any Arnold requests, please let me know. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you don't wanna miss out on future videos, please make sure you subscribe, okay? Well, that's all uh, about this. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.